okay good morning guys today we are well i don't know why i'm saying we brianne's in the background so i feel like i have to say we i'm gonna show you how i update this this is like day three or four and it just needs like a little bit of love put back into it so i'm gonna show you how i do that so i am using the classic curl from ghd this is gonna give a tighter curl, I believe it's an inch. Is it an inch? Yeah. Yeah, like it's an inch. Um, the soft curl is one of our favorites, but I've been liking the tighter, beachier look. So for this, I'm gonna start with, I'm putting a bit of dry texture just on my roots to absorb a little bit of that oil. And then, because it's just a touch up, I'm going to, it's only gonna be two or three sections. I'm just gonna clip that out of the way. And then I'm also going in with the Orbe new dry heat protection. What I love about this is it's gonna give me a weightless 450 heat protection. And also because it's part of the gold dust line, it's going to repair. And it's also like a dry conditioner. So it adds the shine back in, it adds the softness back in to your hair. So it feels more like day one and two versus day three or four. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm not taking, as I split it in half at the back, my right side and left side, and then this little guy's gonna wait. But I'll divide this into about three more pieces. Um, I feel like the number one mistake most people make is that they take too big of a piece. So we're going to start at the root. I'm curling away from the face for this. Moving the iron and dropping. Round, round, and dropping. Round, round, and dropping. And then we just let that cool. For this, because it is more of a beachy vibe, I will be going back and forth. Anything in front of my ear, I curl away from the hair, away from the face, just because I don't like it falling towards my face. But this is more of a beachy vibe. So same thing. We're just cur curling, moving that iron continuously and dropping. And then we don't break them up. We want them to set so they last. So you're going to look a little crazy, but... I'll trust the process a little bit. Do, do, do. So that's what it should look like. We don't touch it and then we're gonna go to the other side. So I'm gonna do that off camera. Honestly, this take this is very quick to do, so this shouldn't take a whole lot of time. Okay, so then I'm taking the other half of my head. I'm going back with my heat spray. You want to make sure it's far enough away and you've got that wrist movement so everything gets covered, especially those little ends. And you want to be using heat spray every time you put heat on your hair. If you are someone that has very fine hair, this is a great option. If you're someone that wants something with a bit more of a hold, you need to switch up what you're using. Something like Soft Lacquer by Orbe is great. So I'm just taking that front little triangle in one piece because I don't want the front piece to be too curly. So same thing with this. And these ones, I am curling away from the face. Same concept. I like to let it sit at the root a little bit longer so that fuzzies get under control or the first kind of curl. And then I'm just tapping the ends more so with the straightener so it's not too sorry with the curling iron <clears throat> so it's not too curly on the ends because I still want that kind of like each vibe going on or lived in okay so you can see there that the ends are a little straight and then same thing on this side so this one i'm actually going to curl forward and then i'm going to start doing the other side if you wanted more of like a classic curl look you would go all away from the face which is gorgeous too 
and a favorite. So, so same thing, making sure I take that big triangle, kind of at the front. Getting that heat in there, but I know I'm protected up to 450. And then tap, tap, tap. Okay. So I'm gonna continue this around the head. So we wanna come in. These ones are more vertical sections. Like you can see that that's like more of a chunkier section. Just because I want to create length, horizontal gives you volume, vertical gives you more the length. Now you can subdivide this if you find you're gonna get a little lost. It'll depend on hair density and thickness as well. If you have extensions, you might have to, but, and this will last until hopefully I wash it. Um, once this is done, I let it set for a minute and then I just brush it out and texture spray it. The reason why I like to use my texture spray at my root is that you can use it, um, the Orbe one kind of like doubles as a, like a dry shampoo. I'm not a crazy dry shampoo gal, I just like don't love the way it makes my hair feel and that I want my scalp to breathe. So I find Orbe is formulated kind of like skincare, but for hair. There are a few products that I have tried and I just, it, I'm just not a fan. So now we just continue on. So again, those vertical sections and then remembering to drop it out as we move. And just going back and forth. So vertical sections. Are we sure? I don't have a name. Okay, perfect, thank you. I was like, someone probably just took it home by accident otherwise. Okay, so this is what it should look like at the end. Before you just casually cruising through, dancing through. So this is what it, oh. This is what it kind of, did I miss a bit? Nope. So this is what it should look like. And then you want to take a wide tooth comb. You do not want to brush for this. You just want to break it. So um, the best way I find to do this is just like, I like everything off the face. For this, we just wanna brush it out, kind of break it up. And then we're gonna take our texture spray, go to the side. I want the, the volume kind of trapped in throughout. And then this is what it looks like at the end. If you're like me, you like a little bit at front. You wanna spray with purpose when you're using these products. And that is the final look. So that's how I touch up my hair. Uh, or if I'm curling it with this iron, and it just gives like a more beachy lived in look. And it's like, I get days out of it with the tighter curl. So that's all guys, have a good one.